Our program started in 1999, our first students came in then, so we were one of the first graduate programs in bioinformatics in the world. And so we've been operating for more than 20 years. We've had 180 PhD graduates over that time. We also have a master's program, and that master's program has graduated more than 200. Our goal here at BU and in this program is to train the next generation of bioinformatics and the computational biologists. Students who come to this program are outstanding and we're turning them into transformative researchers with long-lasting impact in the field. I think that one of the things that makes our program unique is that students have the opportunity to work with multiple mentors, for example, doing a combination of computational and experimental work. And the computational work can spread across many different areas of computational biology, from data analysis, machine learning, to mechanistic models of how biological systems work. We are very interested in developing a quantitative, predictive understanding of how microbial communities work. I like to think of metabolism as also holding the secret of our past and our future. In the following sense, the past is uh, related to the fact that these microbial metabolic networks are really probably containing information about the very early history of life on our planet, way before genomes appeared. And the future, because the metabolic activity of microbes is crucial for understanding biogeochemical cycling, and therefore also the future of our planet at the global scale. My research is focused on the molecular mechanisms of embryonic development. And we're specifically interested in how embryonic patterns form. We study the larval skeleton in particular, and we want to understand the molecules that organize that skeleton over space and time. And so understanding that could speak to fields like regenerative medicine and tissue engineering. And our interest in the skeleton, this is a biomineral, and we want to understand exactly how that biomineral is patterned. And that opens the door to, you know, making designer biominerals, and which would have uh, significant applications in uh, engineering and technology fields. My research is focused on protein interaction networks, namely understanding how the products of genes, which are proteins, interact physically and functionally or in order to mediate the biochemistry within cells. The impact of my work on precision medicine is premised on the fact that while we understand people carry mutations or perturbations in their genomes, we don't necessarily know how the networks are altered. My research is focusing on trying to understand directly what networks are perturbed, what protein-protein interactions are perturbed in an individual. My research uses a combination of statistics and computational tools to answer questions in clinical medicine. Really, the goal of my work is to impact the way patients are treated in the clinic and to do it from a mathematical or a computational perspective. This is the new generation of, of medicine, to some extent, is using these computational or statistical methods, using big data, using data science to answer these questions that, that previously couldn't be answered. We have one project that we're working on at Boston Medical Center where we're looking at individuals who had bad outcomes of coronavirus. For example, patients that come in, a lot of them look like they're doing well and then they crash very, very quickly and they go into respiratory distress syndrome. And we're trying to predict which patients are, gonna, are going to develop that distress syndrome um, using bioinformatics, can we say as the patient comes in, could we look at immune pathways and predict which of those patients are going to have bad outcomes? What I'm working on here is looking at antibiotic resistance and signatures of antibiotic susceptibility. We're seeing now with COVID how much a pandemic can affect our entire society, and antibiotic resistance is kind of that next threat that we could face. So what we really need are better ways to detect antibiotic resistance faster, cheaper, and in a generalizable way that doctors can implement in the clinic. In addition to just the research, I think the kind of student environment is also really great. Um, so we have a lot of community, a lot of support among our fellow students in our cohorts, and a lot of support between the faculty. So I really enjoyed not only getting to do the research, but also work with great people, both professionally and personally. So what I find is, is exciting about our program is that we started when the human genome had just been sequenced. And so we've seen the emergence of big data in biology, and we've been at the forefront of that. And so we can only see that biology is going to be more and more focused on bigger and bigger data sets, 
And we need people to be able to study those and develop new methods. And so we're training that next generation of scientists to do that kind of important work.